All right, starting off with some bench clips right away. What you're seeing here is 295, wide grip, paused for a set of five. So this is the heaviest working set. I did four sets previous to this. This is interesting only because this is heavier than my work earlier in the week on Saturday where I did my competition style bench press, which I think I only did 290 four five so this is five pounds heavier yet going wide and it felt pretty smooth so i was pretty happy with this i was extremely sore uh, my face looks really red i'm hoping that's just a tan but this went pretty well and that's how the day was for wide grip is to work up to a heavy set of five so i really tried to push myself in that sense we then moved on to close grip bench press just showing you one set here out of five this is 250 for eight reps you also get to see some of my love canal belly button there poking through hello little guy um i could probably tuck my elbows a little bit more on this looking at it from this angle and i think i actually do this last rep a little bit better but i need to work on that going forward i don't want to flare my elbows out from there we moved on to another five set so this is basically 15 sets worth of work so far five sets of 10 for dumbbell flies and this is 47 and a half pounds so again just moving up in two and a half pound increments i only have the 50s and the 52 and a half pounds left before i start jumping up by fives which is okay this felt pretty good but again given the volume this was feeling pretty tight so i don't like to go overboard with this kind of stuff right here we then moved on to dips. so i told dan that i didn't like the tricep things that he gave me before those one arm tricep extensions so instead we go with dips called for four sets of 10 reps just to work up to heavy weight. So I did four sets of 10 at 75. Again, given the fact that today is pretty heavy in the volume that I didn't really want to overdo this because I've had the tendency to kind of mess my shoulders up a little bit on this movement. So it went fairly well in my opinion. Again, just showing one set here as I do for the entire workout. The last thing I'm going to show you are just some tricep push downs. He doesn't really say what kind to do. So each week I tend to mess with the attachment. So sometimes I do with a flat bar, sometimes do wider. You'll see some rope in there also. Just sets of 10 up to a heavy set of 10. Here you see 90 pounds. This is my second heaviest set. I think I went up to 100 afterwards. And these tricep press down machines are always interesting because they always give different levels of resistance depending on which gym you go to. All right, so we're back in the kitchen, just got done working out. Now, unfortunately, I forgot to film a pre-workout commentary, but take my word for it, it probably would have just been me bitching or making excuses about how it's going to be very tough, I'm very sore, I'm very achy, but we're gonna do it anyways. And that's exactly probably what happened, but made it through the workout, I'm home now, I'm gonna make some dinner, figured I'd show you guys what I'm making here. So I'm gonna be making some of these Alexia sweet potato fries. I have the oven warming up right now, and on top of that, or I shouldn't say on top of that because it's not literally going on top of that, figuratively speaking, I'm gonna make myself some buffalo chicken salad. So I have this pulled buffalo chicken. You guys have seen this on my channel plenty of times before. I like to make a big batch of it, so like four or five pounds worth, and I can make this into sandwiches, into wraps, or in this case, into a salad. So then I have some chopped romaine right here. I have what's left of that BGC so the Jolly Green Giant probably isn't so jolly anymore but at least the tips left and that's where all the feeling is right fellas I then have some tomatoes here I'm gonna cut those up and then I went ahead and picked up some of this Bolt House ranch dressing you guys suggested this so I picked up the honey mustard the other day and I really like the honey mustard I'm not typically a big fan of ranch but I wanted to get something for this actual buffalo chicken and typically I would have gone with the blue cheese but my fiance does not like blue cheese and although she doesn't eat a predominant amount of my food because I'm very stingy and don't give much up but she prefers ranch so I got ranch and I gotta say it's actually pretty good so for those of you that recommended this to me I appreciate it I do like it quite a bit so I'm gonna go ahead and make up this salad I'll cook the fries and then when it's all done I'll come back and show you what I got and of course I have my helpers here in case I drop anything like Howard oh look you actually responded to a command that's that's a first for these videos where's your buddy Mako Mako yo get over it's like a bump on a log look at that thing it's like the predator, he blends in. Me go. Of course, Howard wants his attention too. Those beasts perched. Oh yeah, sniff that, get that. Don't give them too much. You usually have to pay for that kind of subscription. But we'll be right back. All right, so there you have the salad. And what I did is I put about a cup and a half of that chopped romaine, eight ounces of the chicken, one serving of that Bolt House Ranch. I also chopped up, like I said, those tomatoes and there's cucumbers in there somewhere. I then have three serving 
of the sweet potato fries, which is pretty awesome because I just get to put it in a bowl. And let's be honest, a bowl full of French fries is usually gonna end up in a good time. Unfortunately, however, I don't have any shredding pyramid approved ketchup. I'm just gonna have to go with this normal stuff. And then what I'm also watching right here is animals update on the rum raw unity meat. So if you guys haven't seen any of animals videos and some of their documentaries, they're really good watches. This is like 20 minutes and it's pretty good to watch regardless if you're that into powerlifting or not, just kind of very inspirational. So I'm gonna have that and I'll check in with you guys soon. All right, so all done with dinner, came upstairs, actually trimmed the beard up just a little bit as well as cut the dome piece. And unfortunately, my beard actually takes longer to trim than my hair does only because as you probably can tell, there's not anything really there, but I got it where it counts. Wait, are we still talking about hair? Anyways, moving on, I wanna show you guys some stuff only because I've been getting a lot of questions of concern lately about my wrist. So you guys may or may not have seen my Instagram post recently where I showed you an x-ray of my wrist. I've been dealing with some tendinitis. You guys saw my wrist brace the other day and I think a lot of people kind of took the wrong idea that thought that I was all kinds of snapped up. I'm not, I'm actually pretty much completely fine. In fact, it doesn't affect my lifting at all and I'm continuing to lift. It's really interesting because of the tendinitis I have, it only really acts up in certain positions where I have my wrist. And it's a lefty, by the way, and I'm definitely a righty, so come to your own assumptions in that sense. But it's weird because it doesn't actually ever act up while I'm lifting. It's while I'm doing some mundane task where I don't really think about it, and all of a sudden it just gets some sharp pain, but it goes away fairly quickly, and it's actually been getting a lot better since it initially flared up, which is never a good thing. Anytime anything flares up, you're always going to want to get that taken care of. But some of the things I want to show you here is I actually got some cream and ointment and it's very interesting because this is very hippie approved so you can see right here this is malox lamo lido prill verap and they actually have this chart down here that you can look up to see exactly what's in it and it's interesting because this is a very hippie lotion and they sent me two actually um but it's very hippie-ish in the sense that I'm not actually sure it does anything and I'm not even sure that they know that it does anything. But I gotta put like, if you can see right here on the instructions, one to two pumps a day, several times a day. I think I can work that into my rotation if you know what I'm saying. Also, there's something that I have to admit to you guys that I'm not sure if you're aware or not. Let me put this camera back on here to share some real feels for just a second. I didn't want to break it to you this way, but I think it's time and I think it's important to tell so. And let me kind of flip this viewfinder around so I can at least make sure that I'm in frame. But as some of you may or may not know, my last name is not Campbell. Surprise, not surprised. I don't know. Those of you that are friends with me on Facebook, you probably know this already. My last name is actually Diamond. Campbell is a middle name of mine and the only middle name, so I don't know why I said it like that, but I typically go by my full name, which is Brandon Campbell Diamond, and I just chose to go with Campbell Fitness when I initially started my YouTube channel because at the time there was another vlogger of sorts on YouTube with the name Brandon Diamond, and he was a smaller homosexual man. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I just figured I should kind of separate myself just so I have my own brand, my own entity, and Diamond is pretty popular when it comes to fitness, you know, there was that American Gladiator or whatever. So I just figured I'd go with Campbell because I like the name Campbell and it just kind of stuck. And people just assume my name is Brandon Campbell and that is part of my name, but my last name is actually Diamond. And fortunately, it's not my stage name, although it would be a very popular one. And in fact, you guys should talk to my dad because his name is Richard. And truth be told, he goes by Dick Diamond, which quite simply is amazing. So. Bravo to my dad out there and shout out to you if you're watching this. But I figured I should tell you guys that because you've been seeing some of this where the diamond pops up. And a lot of you guys think it's a joke or it's some name that I picked out. I don't know why I would pick out that. It's more of like a stripper name, but that is indeed my last name. So we're a lot more intimate these days. But that being said, back to this and the hippie cream that I got. I also got some of these exercises to do and they mostly involve like a tomato can or this rubber band. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Things like this. Oh, 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 oh. Believe it or not, that actually kind of hurts, so I need to do more of that. Uh, some other things I wanted to show you is I got some of these the other day from the Enlightened Company, Enlightened Ice Cream. They sent me four of these coupons for free boxes of ice cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to pick this up. They have all different kinds as that focuses in there. Um, 
at my local grocery store. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick some of these up. I'll let you know how they go. You can kind of see some of the things there, but there's gonna be a spoiler alert. I'll probably do a review on those. So I don't think I've seen the Enlightened brand from other people. I know I think Halo Top, so something very similar that other people have done, like Bodybuilding Bros. Um, but I will pick that up when I get a chance. Just wanted to up you date, up you date, update hell is going on here. I wanted to update you guys with what was going on. So that's it. Welcome to my world.